Hello everyone, this is Maheshwari from my spam card and thank you so much for stopping by. Today is really a different um, video which I am going to do a uh, one sheet wonder of 12 by 12 design series paper. I never did this before. So this is my first time I'm just doing this. This project, I am going to use the stamp set Forever Fern Bundle. This is the stamp set and coordinating die I am going to use. And this is the design and series paper I am going to use. This is uh, right now in 15% off sale. So let me show the template how I cut. going to cut this card. We can do 8 cuts using these templates. You can see clearly the card number here. Don't worry about any cutting instruction. I will upload this template in my blog, okay? Okay, let's get started now. I'm getting my paper trimmer first. The first cut I'm just going to make at exactly at 9.8 centimeter. And the next cutting at 9.8. And the third one at 8 centimeter. So the remaining piece is here. Keep this piece aside. The first time just getting the first piece 9.8 and going to cut again at 14.2 centimeter the first piece and the next one again at 14.2 centimeter keep the remaining piece separately aside and I'm just getting the next piece again 9.8 and going to cut at 14.2 and then cut that into half which is at 7.1 and the next piece I'm just going to cut at 14.9 centimeter. Again keep the remaining piece aside. This piece measure which 9.8 by 14.9 I'm going to cut exactly at 1.5 1.5 Another 1.5 Another 1.5 And one more. So we are going to cut 5 of them. So 1.5 so five pieces okay and then the next one we are going to cut exactly at half 7.4 and a half okay just before it's 7.5 is here just a little bit so it must be 7.4 and a half okay that's it and one more piece i cut here this is for card number seven okay these three pieces and now I'm just cutting this piece exactly two this is for card number two and then this one 14.9 and 14.9 okay now I'm just going to cut the small one which is at three centimeter so just throw the remaining piece I hope you get the clear vision of cutting instruction okay now I'm just going to get my base card, which is basic white. That's the base card I'm going to use for all the um, card, which I cut at a half and scored at half. I'm just going to fast forward it now, okay? And before starting, I like to show, I already pre-cut all these die-cut pieces, look. So I just used all my scraps to uh, get this mixed color so that I can mix and match according to the uh, cardstock, okay. So I didn't plan anything, I'm just on, on the go, I'm just going.
Okay. So the next step, I just made one mistake in one card. Let me show you my cards. To change something, this is card number one. I want to change something in card number one because I just want, don't want this um, polished pink. So I'm just going to adhere this one on top, okay? Because I don't like that one. I'm just going to stick like this. Okay. So I think one more sentiment is missing. Just forget something here. Okay, let me try something finger cross i never did this i know so no i don't want to take risk <laughs> no i don't want to so let me get a scrap piece again here okay I don't have the guts to do it straight away, you know. <laughs> Just trim it. And. Okay, that's it. So, a couple of things I need to add again. This is the one thing that looks weird. Mm. Yes, I can remove. I don't like this color, okay? I just let me remove this. Sorry guys, I'm just doing it in front of the camera. But I don't like it, you know? I can't go further with keeping this. Okay, now just let me peel this one out. Yep, done. And then the next one, I'm just... Using this so saffron here. It's okay, I like the so saffron one. I don't like the bumblebee. Because I just want to try with bumblebee, but I don't like it. Anyway, I'm just going to cover this one. That's fine. Okay. So, let me keep it here. Because these are all uh, the scraps which I just kept it inside. Okay. So, I'm, I didn't plan anything. I'm just doing randomly. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. The next one more thing. Just getting the ribbon here. So if you anyone want to finish your ribbon, do a one seat wonder. So if you're having it means use it. You know what? Normally before I used to save all my ribbon and just simply look at it inside my drawer, you know. After that, we need to sell that one. So if you are just getting something. I just want to remove this, okay? Let me keep it like this. Okay, like this. Done. Just getting another glue dot. Sorry guys, please don't mistake me because I just removed everything in front of the camera. I can't tolerate, you know. And one more thing I like to share with you guys. Once you've finished your ribbon, make sure to make a little cut here like this and insert your ribbon like this. In that way, look at here. It will be steady. And your lip your ribbon will be tight in this way 
This is the tips which I saw from uh, another Stampin' Up! demonstrator, Martin Stone, a UK demonstrator. I saw um, his Instagram story once because this is a brilliant idea, you know. So let me show all the cards to you guys first. So one, two, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Seven and eight are um, single layer cards. I made another set of cards using the same template but I changed um, two cards layout the square one which is measured 4 cm by 4 cm and um, I reduced the card to 6 instead of 8 cards so when you just have the template with you and look at my cards you can clearly know what I did with this templates and I just decorated inside as well. I just uh, don't have time to decorate this one. Then the video will be, I think, maybe one or two hours. So I don't want to do that. But I always love to decorate my cards inside. I hope this gives some idea. I don't know which one is your favorite, whether it is uh, Pansy Petals Design Series Paper or using the Pattern Party. I love the Pattern Party compared to this one. But let me know what you think of today's project. In the comment section if you're not subscribed to my channel don't forget to click the subscribe and like button and if you like my project don't forget to share it okay see you soon with another wonderful video until then bye from mageshwari see you bye bye